Hello everyone, it's Benny, and today we're going to work on adding some more logical functions to our AOU. Now, in the last video, we ta talked about how we could implement converse dot implication. So, that's a very simple logic gate. It's all it is only on if B and nothing else is on. Any other case, it returns nothing. So, yeah, that's our first logic gate. Other than, of course, XOR, but... We also talked about in the last video how using this logic gate, if using some combination of inverting the inputs to it and inverting the outputs to it, we can get any other logic gate which has three outputs that are the same and one output that is different. And that includes things like OR and AND, NOR, NAND, and really a whole bunch of logic gates. The vast majority of them fit that description. So, needless to say, it's kind of important to do that, and that way we won't have to have a whole bunch of interesting logical hacks to get all these different logical functions. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on some way of inverting the output. So, here's a question. We do still need to... Yeah, we still need to make sure that the, it still can behave as an adder. So we can't just directly destroy some of the logic but we do need some way of having a way to optionally invert the output. So what optionally inverts the output? Well, either an XOR or an XNOR gate, right? Right. So, we'll, we're going to have to add that to the end, right? Well, that's one way of doing it, yes. But, we can sort of take advantage of something here. This second XNOR gate right here. If we're not adding, what are we using it for? nothing. The only thing it does is it inverts. So, would there be some way to take advantage of that and use this as our optional inversion? As it turns out, yes there is. And that's a technique called flood carry. And the reason it's called flood carry is because simple enough, once you've disabled the carry line, the flood carry option will simply flood the entire carry wire. You've sent a power to every single possible point of the carry wire. And the end result of this is that everything gets inverted, because that's essentially what the carry wire does. It powers the XNOR, and thus inverts the output. So yeah. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to somehow flood the carry wire. And this might be a little bit more difficult than you'd think at first, but it's really not that hard. So, you might think at first, oh, I'm just going to do like this. And you come to the problem of that. So, there's one issue. You might think, okay, well, I'll power it here, then. And you come again into the issue of, well, you can power it, but it's blocked off from both ends. So, getting flood carry isn't particularly easy. Now, one way you can do it, actually, is just like this. Well, actually, you know, you can. What am I saying? I, I thought I had a big revelation there. Sorry, that's me being... This is why I should stick to my original plan. I'm sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> the question is, how exactly do you get power into here without screwing everything up? Okay, I'm sorry. I sort of got inspired by my screw-up, and I actually came up with an even better way of doing flood carry than I was before. So, this is improvised, so it might cause a horrendous bug at some point, but I like it a lot better than what I was doing before, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. First off, we're going to have to change a few things, though. And this is sort of one of the consequences of not going perfectly according to plan. First off, all these repeaters, we we'll have to change the block under them to half slabs. And you'll see why in a second. I'm just sort of doing it, whoops, all at once, so that it's just a little bit faster. We don't have to go ahead and... yeah. So, yeah. And you'll see why in a second, like I said, so don't panic. Okay? So yeah, the adder is exactly the same. I'm just changing all those blocks to repeaters. Well, not, wait, no. Changing all of those snow blocks to half slabs. And here's why. Like I said, we can't do like this, because there's no way to get power to the repeater. But who said we can't just take some power down like this and power it right here? Well, we can't do that either, because if I start making a wire here, you notice this torch powers it. But, who said we can't go down one fervor and do it like this? 
Now, if we yeah, make a wire right here, you'll notice... Why is there a random block there? Oh, oh well, whatever. <laughs> that was probably just for me screwing around and forgetting to delete it, but anyways. You'll notice now that passes perfectly underneath this open section. And don't worry, the wire for the other solution was here anyways. It's just the other solution was a lot more complicated. And, really, I like this a lot better. And I'm really hoping this ends up working perfectly. Because it also enables me to do something else that I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. So, yeah. And you see, that's why we have the half slab, so the power can... or the wire... Excuse me. Can go down here and interrupt it. So, yeah. And... All this is doing is it's flooding the carry wire. And you notice, if I flip this, it's flooded both of those carry wires. We're powering both of those carries. Now all we have to do is we have to do that for every single one. So I'm going to do the cheap way and just put blocks across everything. Because, quite frankly, it's a lot easier. And, yeah. So I'll go ahead and I guess I'll just delete everything in the middle. Because why? No. Not. Yeah. So there. Just add wires now, which is the easy part. Well, the whole thing's pretty easy. So... <laughs> mm, yeah. Okay, so just add wires. And lastly, we're gonna have repeaters. And then we'll be done. So yeah, very, very simple way of doing flood carry, and I probably shouldn't have just recorded that all, but oh well. I'm gonna do it anyways. Because I'm a badass. So yeah, and notice, now, we have flood carry. If we power all that, that inverts it. And as a result, inverts our converse non-implication. So now, when I power that, this turns off instead of turning on. And in every other case, it's turned on. So now it's just converse Im implication instead of converse non-implication. So yeah, there's flood carry. Nice and simple, and I like this method a lot better. So yeah. Now that we have a way to invert the output, all we need now is a way to invert the input. And... Unfortunately, this same trick won't work twice, because our first XNOR, it, well, that's what we're using to get the logic gate in the first place. So, we can't use this for inversion and the logic. That's simply not going to work. You can try, but it's not going to work. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add XNORs to the front. And I'm just going to use the same XNOR design that I used on the end here. So, right here, the very first one, I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to replace this with an XNOR. And so, I'm going to put a piston here. And, there we go, There's here's going to be the repeater. And, oops. And here's the torch. And here's the glowstone. Voila, it's an XNOR. So there we go, we've got one XNOR right there. I'm going to actually turn on the control line just so I don't start causing the adder to do a bunch of stuff. Well, really the AOU at this point, because it has logical functions. Now if I try to do the same thing here, you'll notice we have a problem. If I try putting a piston here... Well, actually, not here, there. Actually, no, I was right the first time. What am I saying? <laughs> if we try putting a piston there, we're going to have trouble powering it. Or... Or are we? Hmm. Benny needs to ponder this for a moment. And yes, we are. And here's why. If I power this, and I power this... Whoops. No. Lever. Thank you. You notice it extends that piston. Because now there's a block in the way, now I can power it. So, that won't work. We need to move this to another location, somehow. And the easiest way to do that, simply move it one block back. Now if I do like this, notice if I put it at the right height, and, and I don't just delete all the pistons we have already, 
you notice this doesn't have any interference. So this will work just fine. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to move the, X, the second XNOR one block back. And yeah. So there we go. And eh, if I can place blocks today. There we. I put it one too high, didn't I? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm a genius. But that's okay. So there we go. Now we have the second XNOR. So here are our new inputs. Here and there. And both of these should be inverted. They are. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually find a way to power these pistons, because that's a big task, isn't it? And the hardest one's probably going to be this one. So the way I'm going to do this is actually pretty simple. Done. So that's going to be the invert command. So yeah, that allows me to invert it. And this one, I'm just going to do right here. So there's my second invert command. Very simple. And I believe this is everything I need before I stack it, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a lever there, and I'm going to stack it. So, this is position one. This is position two. This is position two. And I'm just going to stack. So, slash slash stack. And I will need seven of these. One for each bit. And I already have one, so eight minus one is seven. Boom. Okay. Great. And you notice that avoids that repeater thing, so you don't have to worry about that. And now we have a way of inverting all our inputs. Excellent. Now, these will have to be inverted. So, yeah. That's unfortunately just a consequence of the way this is set up. Actually, why am I doing that? I can just... That's not going to work. I'm... Sorry, I'm being a derp. Don't worry about it. And... yeah. And, again, the reason I'm inverting them is because these are XNORs, so I want zero to go through by default. So, just want straight through by default, and if I flip the lever, it inverts everything. So, yeah. So, now everything is inverted. Now, there you go. And, um, yeah, so that's how you invert everything, using XNORs. We have this fairly nice system going on so far. So... I can release this, I suppose. And nothing should change. Yes? I guess I'll just turn everything off. And, yeah. So, thank you. And I'll see you next time.